On the night of April 3rd to 4, 2023, at about 3.30 a.m., a mobile crane was hit by a freight train near Vorschoten station. The driver of the crane was killed. The driver of the freight train was injured. The crane and parts of the platform ended up on the adjacent track. An overnight passenger train collided with the debris, derailed and broke in two. Part of the train ended up in the adjacent field. 30 people were injured in the process. The Dutch Safety Board has investigated how this accident could have happened and what lessons can be learned. The track section near Voorschotten station has four tracks. Two of these had been taken out of service for maintenance work. The crane driver had to cross two other tracks, on which trains were still running, to reach and leave his work site. Normally these tracks are temporarily taken out of service for this purpose. At the time of the accident, the tracks had not yet been released for crossing. The crane came onto the tracks where the freight train was travelling at the time and they collided. From the opposite direction, the night train from Utrecht via Schiphol to Rotterdam approached a few minutes later. The night train collided with the debris, derailed, broke in two and partially ended up in the adjacent field. The safety board was unable to determine the immediate cause of the accident. However, the board did find that a number of factors contributed to the occurrence of this accident. A track section is not completely closed for maintenance and trains are still passing by the work site. Track workers themselves cannot tell whether tracks are in use or not, or whether trains can run. This crucial information passes through verbal communication across multiple links. The safety board recommends that the infrastructure manager ProRail ensure that track workers can always get to their work site without crossing tracks where trains can run. Provide physical shielding between the work site of track workers and the active tracks. And ensure that track workers can see for themselves whether a track section is in use or not. Track maintenance is often done at night. This makes the track available to passengers as much as possible during the day. With this choice, maintenance work mainly affects the health and safety of a small group of night workers. Maintenance work at night is only responsible if at least the Working Hours Act is followed and healthy work schedules are drawn up. The Safety Board recommends that ProRail ensure that the maintenance sector takes measures to reduce the risks of night work and to ensure that self-employed workers also comply with the Working Hours Act. The Safety Board also recommends that ProRail work on recording accidents so that all parties can learn from them. ProRail should also retain control of all phases of track maintenance work. Finally, the Safety Board recommends the State Secretary of Infrastructure and Water Management, in addition to availability, include safe working in the commissioning of ProRail. Remove barriers to innovations for working safely, as well as to learn jointly from accidents.